Today, we're doing turkey, but not just any turkey. We're doing barbecue turkey, and it's gonna be delicious. Let's get into it. What's up, barbecue fans? Welcome back to the patio. My name's Jake, you're watching Roman Cook. Today on the channel is all about turkey. The holidays are coming. Thanksgiving is around the corner and I'm doing a turkey a little differently. Today we're doing barbecue turkey. We're actually using one of these kits from epibq.com. I'll talk about that in a second here, but as you can see, we've done a whole bunch of steps already for this turkey to get to where we are today. I'm gonna go over them. Before I do that, we'll get it on the yoder. Now today we're running some Bear Mountain hickory pellets. We're gonna start with a little bit of a smoke brief an hour tops, super low temperatures. One of the challenges when it comes to turkey is getting a crispy skin. And we've done a bunch of extra steps here to help get to that point. And we're also going to cook at a higher temperature to get that crispy skin. Let's first put it on the yoder, pull out our rack here. Now it's already on a cooling rack here. I'm gonna leave it here just to make it easier. And what we're gonna do here is this is gonna go just like that, should fit in. So this way we'll have smoke flowing this way and underneath the bird. And we're gonna keep our legs a little closer on that side. I want the air to come over here. Halfway through, we're gonna flip around anyhow so we can get the front. So hit our start button here. We're gonna crank this right down to 160. At 160, the Yoder puts out a ton of smoke. It's great to hold temperature for like keeping food warm and everything, but just for a, like a cold smoke where we wanna get a bunch of smoke in here, but I don't wanna cook it at all. I wanna get the most amount of time I can at that high heat, but I want some smoky flavor. So we're gonna let this roll at 160 for a good hour. Let's talk a little bit about this flavor kit. In here, we've got a few things here. So first off, we've got a brine. So this is a butt and rib bath brine. It's smoked apple spice. So gonna be good on turkey. This is a five to one concentrate. All right, so first what we did yesterday is I spatchcocked the turkey. It's actually the first time I've ever spatchcocked turkey. In my house, my wife loves my stuffing, so it's pretty much criminal to spatchcock a turkey. But since she's not eating this one, I went ahead and spatchcocked it just to make sure we get some even cooking. And I wanted it, get it in the brine, and it was a little easier if I could fold it all up in the bottom of a bucket. But this is five to one. So we put one of these in there, and I put five water. So it turned out to be like almost five cups of water. No, I'm sorry. Four, eight, nine cups of water is what it ended up being that we put in there. And it was just enough to cover this 12 pound bird. Now this says it'll do up to 15 pounds if you're gonna do a larger bird, you're gonna want two of these so you can make sure it's completely covered in water. So I put it in my brining bucket, used the plate, locked it down. I didn't show it on camera, but I, once I got it in the garage, I dumped a bunch of ice on top to, to cool the water down. It was cold water to begin with. Uh, and then I put it in a cooler with some ice around the cooler, left in the garage, and I let it brine for just over 10 hours, about 10 and a half hours. They suggest an hour per pound it was getting late, so I wanted to get it out because the most important thing for me in this step is that I wanted to brine it. We want to get that flavor in it. There's some salt in here. What that's going to do is that's going to help tenderize it and make the meat super moist. But the problem with that is you're sitting in a whole bunch of moisture. So after 10 and a half hours last night, I pulled it out. I put it on the rack and then we got out our Yardbird rub here. It comes in the kit and I gave a nice coating on the bottom of it and then a heavy coating on the outside. Last thing that comes in this kit is the barbecue sauce. We'll talk about that in a second or near the end really when it's time to use it. Uh, but we put it on a cooling rack and then I put it in the oven. I put it in the fridge, not the oven. I put it in the fridge for 14 hours. What that did is it allowed some of the salt to dry out some of the moisture in there and also just the air moving around inside the fridge helps to dry out that skin. Our skin's nice and dry. We've got a little bit of a smoke puff in here, so we're gonna close this up. We're gonna let the yoder come up to temperature. And again, we're gonna let that go for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and then we'll crank it up. It's been an hour and a half at 160. We had a ton of smoke rolling, so we've got some good flavor in there. Started to get some color on here. Everything is nice and dry. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank this up to three, 25 and we'll let that roll for a few hours. We're gonna go a couple hours and then I'll flip it around. I'll bring you back when we get on to some next steps. 
So it's been about an hour and a half. Our breast is reading around 135. What we got here? 136, thigh here, but 160. So we're getting close. Right now our skin is nice and dry, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna give this a little help in hand here. I just got some melted butter here. I'm just gonna take the clarified section. And what that'll do is that'll help crisp up our skin even more. And we probably have another 20 minutes or so to go. So it's been another 40 minutes. It's time to pull off our bird real quick here. What I did is I rotated around. Our drums were a little bit behind the breasts, right? So I needed to get them up and I turned up the 400. Now we're around 170, 171. This will carry over to 175, 178, no problem. Breasts here, so you can see what we're doing here. 153, all right? So what we're gonna do here is we'll take this off. There we go. That, my friends, is a nice looking turkey. Now listen to this. Okay. Got some nice skin here, all right? So we got that skin, sorry, worst time of day. <laughs> Daylight savings messed me up here, but we've got the skin exactly what we're looking for. What I wanna do is I wanna let it cool down because it's at the verge of getting overcooked. So I wanna let it rest. I'm gonna let it rest uncovered because I don't wanna ruin my skin. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to put a quick light coating of barbecue sauce on it. It is barbecue turkey. And then I'm gonna put it back on here for five minutes just to set it. Uh, but right now I don't wanna overcook it and let it rest and have that sauce uh, really ruin the skin that we worked so hard for. Been about 20 minutes now. As you can see, our bird is looking pretty darn good, right? Nice and crispy. I did not cover this with foil or anything. You could eat this as it sits and I'm sure it would be delicious. However, this is barbecue turkey. So we've got to do the last step. We're gonna get it on there, get it warmed up again. We've got the Plowboys Infugo. Words are not my friend. So if I butchered that, the sauce there is part of the kit. It is sweet with a chipotle kick. I did try a little bit of it. It does have a little bit of a kick to it, but I don't think it's gonna to be too much. You guys know I'm a wimp. We'll figure that out shortly here. But in the meantime, let's get this guy on. And what we're gonna do now is we will put this guy on just like this. And all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give this just about two minutes just to warm up that skin again. Now, if this was a cold sauce, I would pour this into a uh, like a pan and I would sit it on here for probably about five minutes just to warm it up. This is room temperature, so I'm not too worried about that. But the one thing I don't like to do is put a really cold sauce on my meat, especially something like this where We've worked very hard to get our skin nice and crispy. It's gonna get a little bit softer once we put this on here, but I wanna maximize it. Um, so we're gonna get that a little warmed up and then we'll paint this on and we'll give it a taste. painted up our bird and we let it sit for about five minutes at 400 to tack it up. It's not fully tacked up, but you know what? I'm hungry. And this thing looks like it's ready to eat. I mean, look at that. Tell me that's not a pretty looking bird. Turn our Yoda off here. I think what we'll do here is we're gonna get this off the plate and cooling rack here and go right on the board. Hmm. Guess what? I didn't spray my cooling rack when I put it on there last night. There we go. Yeah, I think some of the barbecue sauce got stuck there and a piece of the skin. So I think, come on, baby. You know, I'd use a set of tongs, but I don't want to ruin all my hard work here. As you can see, we've got some great color here. Pretty happy with it. Quick recap. So brined for 10 hours completely dried off with paper towel, 
And then we put on our seasoning, the Yardbird rub. Then I put it on that rack in the fridge for about 14 hours. Then we lightly smoked it at 160 for about an hour and a half. Then we dialed it up. I actually changed it from 315 to 350 shortly after I stopped filming. So I did run at 350 the entire time. And then the one thing I'm gonna tell you here is that this side cooked quicker than this side. The reason for that was, is because it was up close to the steel on the Yoder. I was gonna rotate it. I got carried away and I did not rotate it, but we were about almost 10 degrees hotter on this side. So if you do this, make sure you rotate it. All right, I wanna be transparent with you. This is gonna be the better side. This pulled off right where we want it to be. This will be a little higher. I think it'll be fine, but I'm gonna try this side because I'm a breast guy and this is the piece that's got my name on it. We're gonna, uh, let's go like this. Cut that aside there. Came out nicely. You can tell the skin is nice and crunchy and this is coming off. Oh, perfect. Look at that. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. And I'm gonna take this, what am I gonna do here? Break that back a little bit. Still quite hot. I think I'll leave the, the wings intact for now. Um, if I had a glove on, I would pull it off. But look, I mean, even on the side that I said was overdone, I mean, look, you can see the moisture. Got a little bubble actually going down there. And it's not overdone, it was just a little higher. Take a little piece out here, like so. Looking nice and moist. It's not gonna come across on camera very well, but I don't know why white meat just doesn't come across the same. Let's give this a little bit of a taste. I got some juices there. Took a little bit for the flavors to all come together, but wow. In the beginning, I could taste some of the salt from the brine. And then all of a sudden it was like one by one, all the little flavors creep, creeped in there. I don't think I got any of, the, any of the outside barbecue sauce, so let me try some of that. Juice here. To be honest, I actually, here comes a little bit of heat. When I tried the barbecue sauce by itself, you could really taste the heat. And I mean, it's not, I'm thinking like a medium wing. Like I am super sensitive to heat, I'm not a big fan. Um, once in a while I'll have a medium wing. And I thought that was maybe just a little bit above that. But tasting this all together, it does finish with a little bit of heat, but it is not that bad at all. It's actually pretty good. You add up that barbecue brine, and that seasoning and the sauce, and it's a flavor kit that works. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, really happy with that. Turned out great. Hopefully you liked the video real quick. Hold that thought before you hit like and subscribe down there, which I hope you do. I'm doing a 25,000 subscriber giveaway contest. We are approaching that quickly, working with my partners, and all you gotta do is you gotta go to my website, rumcook.com, scroll all the way down, sign up for the newsletter. Everyone who signs up for the newsletter is gonna be automatically entered. I'm gonna do a random drawing once we hit uh, 25,000 subscribers. We're giving away a bunch of stuff. I'm not letting out of the bag what it is yet, uh, but it'll be well worth your time. It is US only. Uh, just talk to my partners. Duties, shipping overseas and across borders and stuff is a problem. We're not gonna do that. We'll do one for some of my Canadian friends and some of my other friends another time, but make sure you're into that. If you're looking for something a little bit different this year, or maybe this isn't Thanksgiving, but you love turkey and you want to change it up a little bit, give this one a shot. Pick that up from my friends at, at bbq.com. You guys know they sponsor a bunch of contests on here. I buy from there all the time. They are a partner and they've got some great products. This flavor kit being one of them. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you soon.